Hello. What you doing? Going into Flagstaff. Oh, to Walmart? Uh, Cracker Barrel, yeah. We're going to stop in Flagstaff for the night and then head to Sedona. Oh, you already left the property, huh? Yeah, we just left today. Wow, there's so much snow still, like, on the San Francisco peak, and there's some snow on the ground. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's pretty. I know. Yeah? Yeah, where are y'all at? We're in Vegas. Oh, cool. Well, just outside of Vegas, up in Summerlin. Oh, okay. We're going through Kendrick. Yeah. We're going through Kendrick Park right now. You know where you get the great view of the San Francisco Peak. Oh yeah. 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 So how's right how's it going? I thought you were I thought you were going to end up being at uh, your property a lot longer. We are. We're, we're going to go to Sedona because it's supposed to get because it was 70 degrees on the property for a couple days. So we thought, okay, well, we'll just stop by there. For a couple days and then we're gonna come back at the end of april oh end of april yeah towards the end of april we're gonna come back and stay for a month oh yeah it'll be better weather then yeah it will be right well we were gonna leave today and start heading towards home but buddy's back hurting him oh no so yeah so we just figured we'd leave tomorrow, get an early start, and uh, start heading that way. Cool means. Yeah, hopefully it'll feel better tomorrow. So. Yeah. I just wanted to check in with you, see how you were doing. Yeah, I miss y'all. I oh, know, I miss you too. Um. So what are you, are you gonna stay there, stay on the property till, for how long? I thought you were going to um, somewhere else. Yeah, we're going north, uh, but not till the end of May. So we're gonna stay there uh, at the end of April through May and then leave towards the end of May and head north. Oh, see, when you say north, I'm like, north? <laughs> I'm going north. Oh, I know, not Washington. <laughs> Uh, all right well drive safe and have fun y'all too be careful i'll okay, keep uh, i'll I call y'all and stuff miss you too i'll call y'all and y'all call uh, me okay i love you all right i love you guys too okay be safe up there will do okay bye bye Stop and build a snowman. Sure. Or have a five second snow fight. I don't think there's enough snow. We did give you a whitewash. What's that? Or snow in the face and you rub it in the snow. Oh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> or us, we could do snow angels. Right there. There you go. Welcome back to Flagstaff. Elevation 6900. Founded in 1882. We're going to stop up here and grab some gas and then continue on. Oh, they let me through too? Thank you. That was nice of them. On this side. It's a nice truck. What is? That Frontier. Oh, is it? Nissan. Same Man, size. Good. As, the same size as the Colorado. All right. The RV's filled. John cleaned the windshield, and we're ready to move along. Good morning, everybody. We're just out for a Sunday cruise. Continue for half a mile. Don't, don't mind us here. I'm oh. <laughs> so we made it into Flagstaff. It's actually busier than I thought it'd be. 
guess it's not much of a seasonal town. Okay, we've made it to the Cracker Barrel where we're gonna stay the night and then head on to sit down to tomorrow. Marsha's here, Jeff's here, and Linda and Tony are behind me. What? You want this one by the tree? And, uh, oh yeah, that'd be awesome. Right here. Okay, cool. Yeah. I didn't know you were so close. I think you're an hour or so behind. No, we were just right down the road. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What's I that? I brought you something. What's that? It's something for your property to say thank you for letting us stay. Oh, that's so sweet. You didn't have to do that. I probably won't be here for your birthday, so I wanted to get you something for your property. Early birthday, too? That's Early so birthday. sweet. What is it? I don't know. I just hope you don't have one. <laughs> it's a solar gnome. <laughs> gnome? I know. It's a solar gnome house. That's so cute. Nice. Thank you. You're welcome. You didn't have to do that. Love you. Love you too. That's mm -hmm. awesome. It's cute. I saw the frog you had there. But you've already been inside. No, the bunny rabbit and the... Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Where did you go? I thought you went We've in We've just been in here, so... Since Crackle Barrel is so nice to let people stay in their lot, we thought we'd go have some dinner and they do have some really good food. Talking about good food, I haven't decided what I want yet. Either the chicken or maybe the meatloaf. Probably a club sandwich. No, they don't have club sandwich here. <laughs> Unfortunately. I didn't notice Jeff in his cowboy hat. Oh yeah, he got that when we were in Colorado. Hey, Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. Ooh, the house. Hey, hey. What, are you, what are you doing over there? <laughs> Sticky fingers. Eating a crouton. <laughs> wow, look at the biscuits, plate of biscuits. Ooh, John got the fried chicken. They brought my chicken and biscuits. Oh, and I got the meatloaf. It's a country fried steak. Uh, wait, oh, your country fried steak went down. I guess you're going to have to wait for that. Now she gets me after I got sure. done laughing. Biscuit. There's tears in my eyes already. You're welcome. I you lost, can have a biscuit. I lost my steak on the floor. I know, that's what was loud behind you. Well, it wasn't my fault. Tony got the chicken pot pie. Looks yep. huge. I didn't know they were that big. Linda finally got her <laughs> yeah. country fried steak. Country fried steak. Jeff got the steak thing I did was the meatloaf. And Marsha got, oh, that looks really delicious. What is that? The maple bacon chicken? Maple, maple bacon grilled chicken. Nice. Oh my god, I'm so full, but Marsha brought us over some peach pie. And this is from Strawberry near Pine. It's from the pie bar. Actually, Dave tried to go there, but they were closed. So if he sees this, ha ha, Dave, are you jealous? <laughs> I'm just joking. Anyways, I'm probably gonna stick these in the refrigerator for later because I am stuffed. Do you want your pie now or eat it later? I always want my pie now. Well, it's the next day. It's a bit chilly and windy here in Flagstaff, but at least it's nice and sunny. We're gonna get on the road and go do some errands before we head to Sedona. Everybody had a few errands to run before heading to Sedona, so they've already left. The only thing we really have to do is grab some drinking water and we're gonna go ahead and top off on propane so we'll be full when we get to camp. Thank you, Cracker Barrel. Wow, that door was looked like it was ripped off. The trailer, the bottom half of it.
water. Done. Yeah. Okay, number two, that was the last thing, propane. I would say it was done, but only 1.7 went in the tank and the gauge is reading lower than that. She said she thinks the machine might be messed up, so. But I, I think we'll be okay. All right, well, we're headed back to Wally World to meet everybody, do some shopping, and then head on. We've met everybody here at Wally World. Time to go inside, grab a few supplies. Okay, we're getting back on I-40 West. And we've got all our errands done in Flagstaff. So we're just gonna go for a little bit on I-40 and then turn and go down towards Sedona. In two miles, use the right two lanes to take exit 195 for I-17 South Arizona 89A South toward Phoenix. Going south on I-17. This heads down to Phoenix, but we'll be stopping in Sedona, which we're gonna have to turn in, go to Cottonwood, and then come back up to Sedona. There is somewhere I do want to stop to have lunch. Been there several times before and they have good food. Hopefully they're open. And they are at exit 289, which is about 37 miles away. Phoenix is 129 miles away from here. And Lutz Park by. We decided to stop at the scenic mile, view. Merge onto I-17 South. Thanks, Bev. Just to see what it's all about. Oh, it looks pretty. Can't see Sedona yet, though. Let's get out. It's pretty foggy out. It does seem kind of hazy. Maybe fires? Oh, no, fires? it's very hazy looking. Yeah, it's definitely kind of hazy. This is the scenic view. It's pretty, though. I was expecting more. Do they do controlled burns out here, like Oregon? Sometimes they've been known to, but I don't know if it's happening now. Mama, go potty. Go pee pee. I guess nobody else wants to come out for the scenic view. Scenic view. <laughs> Everybody's taking pictures from their rigs. Well, that was very quick. Just wanted to see what the scenic view was all about. It is beautiful. Oh my God. <laughs> It is pretty, but it was kind of like um, overcast or not overcast now. Foggy. Foggy. Smoky. Smoky. Something that way. Yeah, hazy. Hazy. Pretty hazy. Yes, thank you. That's the word I was looking for. Oh. Something's pollution is trapped up here. Something's pollution is trapped up here, he said. All right, let's do this. 6% grade downhill. Only 21 more miles to go. Radio check, uh, WI and 47 for a quick radio check. Oh, that's someone else. So we're entering Yavapai County. Audio is good, you do have some hash. Oh, look at that tree background. with the pink flowers. Oh, hash. Pretty. Okay, well, that's, I kind of expected that I'd play out on the other radio with this antenna. I do have guys who seem to tighten up some of those elements up there and then they fall back to this. I'm done listening to them. <laughs> About their hash. Yeah. So, um, 17 is the Arizona Veterans Highway, if y'all didn't know. Down, down we go. Elevation here is 6,000 feet, same as the property. We're passing mile marker 301. Still going downhill into the Verde Valley, which has Camp Verde is where we're gonna stop. And there's also Cottonwood in Verde Valley. Verde River is here. We 
have about 10 miles till our exit. We might actually stay here the night. I'm not sure. I have to ask everybody else, see how we feel after lunch. Or we can just continue on. So you can take 179 north and go into Sedona, but it is very hilly. The easiest way is to go through Cottonwood and cut back up. The 179 though goes straight into Sedona. Then you'd have to cut down to go to the camp. Oak Creek Canyon is also an exit 298. Here's our exit, exit 289, Middle Verde Road. <laughs> We're talking about um, if Marshall wins. We might actually be staying here. We've talked about um, going to Montezuma's Well and Castle. I haven't been there since like my first year after the RTR, so that's like four years ago. So it'd be nice to go experience it again with different people. And actually Montezuma's Castle is near this casino. It's the same road, I believe. Yeah, see, there's the brown sign for it, Montezuma's Castle. And Montezuma's Well is probably In about three miles back. The traffic circle continues straight to Steve West Middle Verde Road. Will do. So welcome to Camp Verde. Yeah, we can just leave here and Slide go right. right to the Montezuma's Castle. It's not that far from here. Yavapai In 1,000 feet, your destination will be on the right. And Apache. And this casino, I don't think it even requires you to sign in. Exit the traffic circle. Okay. Make a U-turn. Oh, uh, vaccination event, so we will not go there. Nope. There's the food truck and it is open. In a quarter mile, make a U-turn at Montezuma Castle shh, Road. I'm, I'm, shh, Beverly, shh. Wait, how am I supposed to get in here? I don't even know how we get in the casino thing. I don't see like a place, uh, maybe they're not having parking no, here. Park over oh, over here, across the street, got it. Down. Last time we parked in the parking lot, but they do have this dirt parking lot over here next to this tobacco shop, smoke shop. All right, I'll just pull over here for now. This will work. Can we go all the way down to the sunrise? Because that's where we're going to have to go anyways. Uh, well, the hiking trail, if we decide we're going to do the hiking trail, is over back behind us. So we can just park right over here. And the food truck's right there, so. Is this the only place to park, or was there another place, like when we first uh, drove in? The parking lot, but it's um, filled right now. They're using it for an event, so we have to park over here. So, we're gonna go grab some food. What? Well, well you can't go. Oh, wait, yeah, you can go and watch me eat. Yeah. Oh, that sounds like fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take my jacket off. It actually feels nice, much warmer than Flagstaff, obviously, because it's lower elevation. Water down! Water down! Time for some food. Oh, yeah, they got. I don't know what I'm gonna get. This is why I love this place. Look at how big the burritos are. So good. John got the cheese fries and burger. Mm-hmm. She's fine. Mm. Uh -huh. You're always digging at my food. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it says cheese fries. Holy cow, look at that. What is that? Taco Tango. Wow, that thing is dripping. Taco salad and a burrito. <laughs>